Thank you, Sheena. New tonight, the Democratic Party Women's Caucus is debating a resolution that opposes reappointing House Speaker Nick Mattiello to his powerful position on Smith Hill. Hi, with News reporter Kim Kalunian was at the group's meeting tonight and joins us now live with the details. Kim? Well, Mike and Shannon, the Democratic Women's Caucus is the state party's official caucus for female elected leaders and activists within the Democratic Party. And tonight, this issue caused quite the debate among some of its members. State Senator Janine Kalkin introducing a resolution Tuesday night to oppose reappointing House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello to his leadership role, a move that sparked debate within the Democratic Party's Women's Caucus. This is a personal assault. This is a character assault. This is all true. I have a huge problem procedurally trying to do this evening. The group of party activists and elected leaders ultimately decided to table a vote on the resolution Tuesday. Their vice chair explaining it'll be posted online for members to voice their opinion ahead of the start of the session in January. You know, there are a lot of women um, who are unhappy with the way um, the speaker has conducted business at the state house. And so, you know, I, I, I do agree with the general sentiment, but I've not had time to uh, review in detail what it says. I haven't decided yet. I'll read it over. Um, I really want to concentrate on policy, the importance of policy and the importance of process, and stay away from individuals. The overwhelming majority of the representatives solidly support me. On Thursday night, Mattiello was informally selected to lead the House of Representatives again during a closed-door caucus. The official vote will be held on January 1st. Mattiello's handling of a sexual harassment complaint against former House Judiciary Chair Kale Keeble has caused some House members to question his leadership. It's always important to listen to everybody when you're in a leadership position, so that's certainly what we plan on doing. And we should mention that former state representative Kale Keeble denies those allegations of sexual harassment. Now, I did reach out to two spokespeople for Mattiello tonight following this meeting, but so far I have not heard back. Live tonight, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.